Okay guys, and welcome back to another Encurses video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about attributes as well as color pairs, which is kind of part of attributes. But um, So today, uh, starting out with attributes, um, there are two main functions that you're going to be using. There are more than two, but the, the two basic functions for working with attributes are attribute on, or atter on, and attribute off, which is atter off. Um, and between here you would put an attribute, and the attributes are up here as follows. Um, basically the attributes are just ways to change the way your text looks, um, but they're also terminal dependent, so not all of these will work everywhere. So I know that specifically a reverse works well on my terminal. Um, a reverse, which is attribute reverse. And what attribute reverse does um, is it changes, it reverses the foreground and background, so it makes the background the foreground color and the foreground the background color. Um, so if we run this now, we'll make it, um, and we'll run hello, and we get, this is some text, and as you can see, um, it made the background white and the foreground black, foreground color black. So, um, I think standout, on my terminal at least, uh, does the same exact thing. Um, on some terminals, it might have different results, but I know that that one um, for me, is the same as reverse. See, it just reverses the text. It might be different if the, the terminal color is different. Uh, blink doesn't work on mine. Uh, dim, bold, don't seem to do anything on mine. Protect doesn't seem to do anything on mine. Uh, maybe it does. Maybe it just makes it so you can't change it. Uh, invisible does work on mine. That's just going down the list. The standout, reverse, blank, dim, bold, protect, and invis. Invis makes it so that the text is invisible, and this might seem kind of pointless because why would you print text to the screen if it's going to be invisible and I guess the reason being would be so that if you want it the text to be there um, but you want to change it you don't want it to be seen immediately you can make it invisible and then later on you can make it visible or vice versa say there's some text there and it's visible but you want to make it invisible you could also do this so uh, as you can see it, it's invisible so uh, we'll hit it or just hit a character and I'll exit alright so that's basically um, the attributes, if you want to know about more about each individual attribute, you can look those up. But um, uh, those are, you know, helpful and interesting. Uh, and another way you can add flair to your programs is with color. You can actually change the foreground and background color of um, the text. So one way to do that, or the, the way you have to do it, is um, first you want to check to see if your computer or your terminal can actually change the color. So if it has colors... Um, is a function that returns true if um, your terminal can use colors and it returns false if it can't. Um, so actually we'll, we'll say if has colors, if not has colors. So basically this is just a check to see um, if, you do, if you can't use colors and if you can't, it's just going to exit um, with an error. So we'll say print w uh, terminal does not support color. Um, I know that mine does, so we won't see this message, but this is just a good safeguard um, for if you uh, are running this on machines that you might not know if it has colors. So um, we'll return with negative one, so that's an error status. Um, and if that goes well, uh, and it doesn't, if it has colors, you run a function called start color, which sets up colors for the, um, the terminal, I suppose. And um, the way that you use these is you create what's called color pairs, which is just a pair of a foreground and a background color. And you use a function called init pair to make these pairs. So it takes uh, three parameters. The first one is an integer value. Um, that integer value will serve, a, serve as like a quote-unquote pair ID to, to identify the pair. Um, and then you, take the, you use the foreground color, which um, the colors are... Oops, defined here. Um, these are predefined colors uh, defined by it, like in the Encurses library. So uh, I'll just bring them up here so we can see them a little better. Um, so yeah, we have, they're all caps. You do color, cyan. We'll make cyan the foreground and say we'll just do uh, color white for the background. I don't know how visible this is going to be, like how good it's going to look, but um, I'll get rid of these here too so it's just I can see things better. And then in order to use this attribute, what we do is we do color pair, and then we pass it the value of the um, pair. So in this case, it's 1. That's the, the ID we gave it. Um, 
So color pair one. Uh, so now it should change the colors uh, based off of the color pair we gave it. So if we run hello, it should make the text cyan and the background white. Uh, you can actually change the specific values for the colors as well. And that uses a function called init um, color. And uh, what you do is you pass it the color value you want to change. And so we'll say cyan. And then you pass it the three RGB values, but instead of it being from 0 to 255, like I'm used to most RGB values being, uh, it's from 0 to 999, I believe. So um, that goes for all the, the values here. So you do a value between 0 and 999, um, which is kind of odd. But um, And not all terminals can do this either. Some terminals can't change the color, and the way to check to see if your terminal can do that is uh, you run... Uh, you check to see can change color, and uh, if that returns false, then you can't change colors. If it does, um, then you can change colors. I'm pretty sure that mine isn't able to change colors. We'll check. Um, print w can change color. Um, so we'll check if mine can change colors or not, but I'm not sure if it can. <laughs> So we'll check, um, we'll run this, and it can't change colors. So my, my function, mine can't change colors, but if yours could change colors, then this would change color cyan, uh, and it would make it one of these values. Um, granted, I passed it not actual values, so. <laughs> but yeah, so um, if you'd like to change individual colors, you can do that as well. Uh, and if we want to make another pair, we could do, you know, two and call, have it color yellow, and then we could have the background be uh, color magenta. Get ready for your eyes to explode, by the way. Um, and uh, let's uh, change this to the second color pair instead. And if we run that, make and run, we get that. So that's how uh, colors work in uh, end curses as well as attributes. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, and thank you guys for watching.